Hi everyone, it's Shanine here, and in today's video we are going to be learning how to solve indeterminate limits using the method of factoring. So let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. So in this first example here, we have the limit as x approaches 3 of the function x squared minus 9 over x minus 3. And so the first thing that we always do when we're solving a limit problem algebraically is plug in this value for a into our function f of x. So when we do that, we have 3 squared minus 9 over 3 minus 3. And so this is equal to 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form. And what this tells us is that we need to use another method to solve this limit. So the next method that we like to try is the method of factoring. So let's go ahead and take a look at our function f of x and see if we have anything that could factor. So we can see here that we have a difference of two squares in the numerator. We have this x squared minus 9. So we can go ahead and factor that. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have the limit as x approaches 3. And so this numerator here factors out to x plus 3 times x minus 3. And in the denominator, we have an x minus 3. And from here, we can see that this x minus 3 in the numerator cancels out with this x minus 3 in the denominator. And so this simplifies down to the limit as x approaches 3 of x plus 3. And now we can go ahead and plug this 3 in for x here. And so doing that, we have 3 plus 3, which is equal to 6. And now let's go ahead and take a look at this next example here. So we have the limit as x approaches negative 2 of the function x squared plus 5x plus 6 over x plus 2. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to plug in this negative 2 in for x in this function here, f of x. So doing that, we have negative 2 squared plus 5 times negative 2 plus 6 over negative 2 plus 2. And so we can see here that the numerator simplifies down to 4 minus 10 plus 6. And then in the denominator, we have a negative 2 plus 2. And so this simplifies down to 0 over 0. And so again, we have an indeterminate form, which means that we need to use another method to solve this limit. So the next method that we like to try is factoring. So we take a look at our function f of x and see if we have anything that can factor here. And so we see that we have a quadratic in the numerator, which is a huge giveaway that we need to use the method of factoring to solve this limit. So let's go ahead and factor our numerator. So we have the limit as x approaches negative 2. And so x squared plus 5x plus 6 factors out to x plus 2 times x plus 3. And so this is all over x plus 2. And so now we can see here that this x plus 2 in the numerator cancels out with this x plus 2 in the denominator. And so this simplifies down to the limit as x approaches negative 2 of the function x plus 3. And now we can go ahead and plug in this value for a in for x. And so we have negative 2 plus 3, which is equal to 1. And so that is how you solve an indeterminate limit using the method of factoring. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.